In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to use the default installer to install to the hard drive, but uh, I did mention in some cases, and this isn't always true, but for some reason the default installer seems to have a problem uh, repartitioning and formatting uh, the hard drive. Uh, I've had this happen just a few times, not all the time. Uh, I'm not really sure what the problem is, something probably in the script, but today I'm going to show you how to manually uh, repartition the uh, the install, the hard drive, uh, and it's very simple. We'll just click on our menu here. We'll go up to System Tools and up to Gparted Partition Editor. It'll ask for your root password, which by default is root if you have not changed it. It tells you right there, default root. Okay. And here we go. I have got three partitions. Actually, yeah, three partitions, and basically uh, these ones right here. This is this is um our swap, which currently is locked because uh, uh, since we booted uh, our our live CD here is actually using that swap partition, which is fine. We will actually leave that on there because uh, once we install our installed uh, distro can use that swap space as well. Um, but if not, you can delete the partitions if they weren't locked uh, and you can create them manually if they are, are not there if you would like. Anyway, this is the current partition I have uh, installed to in the last tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go delete. And it is not deleted. Uh, changes don't take effect until we click apply. But what we're going to do next is we're going to right click it. We're going to say new. And we're going to create a primary partition. I am going to use ext2. The default installer goes with ext3, which is great. But uh, I'm just pretending that I'm installing this on an older machine. And ext2 is supposedly better, faster for older machines. And uh, Slitaz, if that's how you say it, uh, is great for older machines. So using ext2 might benefit you. If not, you can change it. You can go three or four. And um, it wants to be a primary partition. Uh, I'm using up all the empty space here, but you can resize it however you'd like. But I'm just going to use the full about 15 gigs I have on here. And you can label it if you like. I'm just I'm not going to label it. I'll click Add. And once again, these are the changes that we've put in, but nothing has been taken place yet. We click Apply, and it says, are you sure? Because basically you're going to lose everything on that partition uh, if there's anything on there. So make sure you back up anything on there you need, because it will definitely erase it. That's basically what we're doing. I'm going to click Apply. And this could take a, a minute or two or even longer, depending on the size of your hard drive. Um, but basically right now it's deleting one partition, uh, which is complete. It says one of two operations completed. The first one is the deleting of that partition. And next is recreating it as an ext2. Uh, and there we go. It says done. We can hit close. And it will refresh. You can see it's all good to go. We can hit X up here. Now we can install just as we did before. Uh, go up to our system tools here. We'll go to our installer right there. Root is the default password. Click OK. And uh, it's as we're doing upgrade or install, we're going to do an install. And next we'll ask you where you want to install it to. You can go to list here if you wanted to uh, see a list of your partitions. You just hit tab till you get to it and then hit enter. It gives you a list. We're going to, in this case, HDA1. So we'll go back and we'll say forward slash device HDA1. We'll hit OK. At this point it asks, if, do we want to format? We can hit no because we've already formatted it. So we'll hit no and then it will ask, do we want to create a home a separate home partition. This is a good thing to do in many cases, not necessary for what we're doing right now, though I'm just going to leave that blank and it won't create it. I'm going to leave the host name as Slitaz. Hit OK. I'm going to leave the default password as root for these tutorials. I'm going to create a user. I'll call him Metal. And I will create a password called Metal, which I do not recommend uh, creating a password that's the same as the username. And I also don't recommend creating a password that that's short and doesn't have any special characters, numbers, or uppercase letters. Anyway, hit OK. It wants you to confirm everything. Yes, go ahead and do it. Um, at this point, it, since it doesn't have to partition and format the drive, you'll skip some steps, makes it a little bit faster. Um, and then now it's cleaning it. And basically right now it's extracting to that partition. Shouldn't take very long because it's not very big. Uh, so as is 
the the default uh, distri uh, version of the distribution right now is 30 megabytes compressed. It's extracting it now, and it's going to be about uh, probably just over 100 megabytes, or just under about around 100 megabytes. I probably would say after it's uncompressed, because I would say it probably is compressed to about a third the size. Do we want to install Grub the bootloader to the master boot record? We'll click yes, and it should only take a minute to do that. And then we'll ask if we want to exit, which we can continue using the live CD at that point, or reboot. I'll click reboot, and it will unmount some drives, eject the CD, and reboot should only take a few seconds here and we should get our grub menu which we'll be able to boot into at that point and there you go this is what your grub menu will look like once it's installed I'll click enter on that and it will go through and boot and that is how you will manually partition drives if you want to manually partition them rather than use the partitioner that uh, is utilized in the installer uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.